Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Shout out to my buddy Panda because he linked this to me. I haven't been recommended a Game Riot video in a long time. Um, Game Riot kind of does a lot of things, but he does really like car games. And um, he got flown out to get us some new test drive unlimited solar ground information. I'm talking about the three starter cars. I'm talking about crossplay progression. Now, I made it almost seven minutes in. I'm like, let me just rewind and I'll react to it live. Big shout out to Game Riot. I'm sure you already know who this guy is. If not, link's going to be down below to the video. Go drop him a like, sub to him. He's given us a lot of really good info. You see that Daytona? Holy shit. The, there's a Ferrari. I think it was the F12 Berlinetta. It sounded so good. The physics of watching him drive off road, like the bounce, and like it looks so natural. Watching him drive around, the physics seems so good. I was really worried about that because we haven't seen a lot of gameplay. The world looks so massive. Yeah, the graphics might not be like super polished, like you really think, but this isn't a AAA studio and graphics aren't everything. Like this is well enough for me. This is, it's fine, all right? But I'm super pumped to watch the rest of this. I didn't get to the cross play part, but I did get to the start. We're gonna start over, we're gonna react in real time. Shout out to Game Riot for getting this information and putting out a video. We're going to talk about it. Let's get into it. We're going to go full screen. We're going to go back to the beginning. All right. <laughs> God, I'm so pumped for this. All right. Uh, let's go. Hello and welcome to a very special video. Last week, I went down to Paris and played Test Drive. He went to Paris. <laughs> what a lucky gent. Look at this vet in interior. Get the hood. Ah. Limited solar crown for the first time. I feel very, very lucky. Uh, thank you to Nacon and also their good media for inviting me down. They paid for my train, my food, hotel, and uh, just to be completely trans Dude, the full hookup train, hotel, food. Dude, hook me up, Nacon. Let me come in there. So, if you see the wreck nearby thing, we talked about that. Uh, I thought it was, you know, like there was traffic, but I think it's like the cars that you can find to restore, but. I mean, regardless, yeah, if you look here, like, the graphics aren't that great. But when you compare, like, these buildings to, like, Motorfest buildings, they look better. And Motorfest, I'm pretty sure, doesn't really have pedestrians. Not that I remember. So a lot of people are, like, complaining in, like, a lot of these videos. Oh, there's no pedestrian. It doesn't feel alive. This is a one-to-one -one scale of Hong Kong. Obviously, it's not going to be completely accurate because they got to widen some roads and stuff. But you'll... After watching him drive around a lot, you're going to be like, holy shit, this game looks really fucking good. And ah, I'm so hyped. Anyway, let's get back into it. This um, is all brand new for teaching the background, which is so exciting. Loads of vehicles confirmed within the video as well. Um, yeah, let's talk about my experience of the games. So I got to play sort of the start of the game. So, oh, look at that. E-type? Oh, oh, boy. I don't keep getting distracted, I know. 100%. <laughs> 100%. What the? Was that like a little pop and a crack? Like, it just, it lo it just, it feels big. It, like, when you compare, just looking at, like, being on this road compared to, like, how it feels in Motorfest, this just feels big. But look at this E-type here. Now, obviously, I keep hiding the map, obviously, but this could have been an earlier build. This could be a current build. It's It says work in progress. So, this, keep in mind, this might not be, you know, the final, but I mean, yeah. All right, let's get back into it. Oh, that sounds so good. Um, yeah, so I got to play the, um, I, I didn't play the actual intro intro of the game. So the intro is going to be about 30 to 45 minutes. The sort of onboarding the game, introducing you to the, the streets, the sharps, the Solar Crown Hotel, basically getting you guys started with Test Drive. Okay, so a good 30 to 45 minutes just for the intro show you around the solar ground hotel the streets the sharps what's going on i feel like that's a good intro i mean that's a full playlist of motor fest with no story and just races so there is he does get to a part where he talks about um progression which he says maybe it sounds like when you're racing the ai which i know a lot of people worried multiplayer only 
This is an online only game, but there is AI in the game. I've talked about it before. Um, a lot of people that were in the play test have said that when the servers exploded, they were racing AI. And it sounds like here, the AI actually level up with you while you race and you rank up. The AI also ranks up and they become faster and harder, which I think is a cool system. I'm actually glad they're doing something different. And it's not just like, here's some rubber banding ass cars for you. Like, I don't know. But look, all right, let's keep going. I, that's a good solid intro. 45 minutes. Didn't get to play that. But I got to play and select the intro vehicle for a game. Oh, so, so cool. One of the, the sort of poignant moments in a video game is picking that very first vehicle. You get some credits to spend. Let's rewind that because this R35 off-road, it seems like it's not too slidey. It seems like you're just like really gripping around. And then the little bit, the little slide coming out seems so controllable getting back onto the road. And it sounds like the sounds are really good. This sounds like a VQ. All right, let's, get, let's, let's roll it back because that was just satisfying. Let's watch it again, boys. Test drive. Didn't get to play that, but I got to play and select the intro vehicle for a game. Oh, so, so cool. One of the... Internet's so bad. I get a gig download and it still can't load it. Game is picking that very first vehicle. You get some credits to spend. So the first vehicle you can select Mustang GT. I believe it's a 2024 version. Okay, so the Mustang GT that we saw in the release trailer that was going with the Challenger, it looks like maybe that one so first starter car ford mustang all right and you also got the tycan i think this is the crossover one right here look at that tycan that 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 light bar that looks so good uh the second vehicle is the 37 all right i gotta take it off we gotta go down to 1440 because obviously my internet sucks I don't know, Cox is the worst. 24 version, look at that Taycan. All right, we're back. That, that, that light bar, that looks so good. Uh, the second vehicle is the 370. Okay, Ford Mustang, 370Z, and I'm already gonna spool the next one, the Alpine, I think it's the 110. Z, Nissan, lovely. And they got the Alpine A110. Um, so they, they are the intro vehicles you can select There's from. intro vehicles, the boys. The is going to be particularly popular. Obviously, being a French studio, they're very, very proud that the Alpine's in the, in the game as well. Um, then we're going to touch on... This has been speculated for ages. People have been so desperate to hear about this physical garage. Yes, you do have... I just want to pause real quick. This looks so good cruising on the highway. Now, if you notice, the top left it says, Rite of Passage, Race Against... Mila, Mila Rodriguez, but there's also um, kind of like what did they call it in Test Drive? There's like F something is like where you can like I don't know if here you can like press X or A to bank your money once you got to a certain spot, but I mean the night driving with the it just looks so good. A vehicle garage that does have. Six slots. This is the intro vehicle, by the way, or one of them. This sounds so um, good. Six slots available within the Solar Hotel. Okay, so, so we, when you we go got into six the Solar spots. Hotel, you'll have uh, an elevator to exit and an elevator to go up or down. I can't remember now, but there's another elevator which takes you straight to your physical garage. It's not a property. Um, like right, so. We did know on the release trailer that we are getting a garage. We know that houses aren't going to be there at launch, okay? But they're coming. Give them time. They've really been putting some work into this game. I know a lot of people are upset with the delay. I'm happy about them. Let them, let them put out a game that's more polished than what it could have been. But this Alpine sounds so good. I might go with this just for how it sounds. But like he said, we have six spots in our garage. Now it's gonna it's gonna be a grind to get your cars, but six spots, not bad, right? I'm sure maybe you can have more, and then just switch out which ones you can see in the garage. Maybe I don't know, I don't know. Let's listen. The sort of older games, I still kind of miss having a property. They said people liked the properties, but they. Now notice, 
they really did good with the sound engineering. It sounded really good in the inside of the car, and it sounded like you were in the car. And now, third person view outside of the car, you hear more of the exhaust, which is they did. God, this game is going to be so good. I might pick this just for how it sounds, man. You see the uh, solar hotel right there? Massive. It's so cool. Give me that penthouse, boy. But they liked the garage more, like having a, a sort of area to showcase your cars, which I think is true. But I don't know about you guys. I still would love to own property within the map. I think that'd be quite cool. But we'll get yeah, properties. Still, it's still cool to have that six slots available to showcase your garage. Um, I, I only had one vehicle in this playthrough. And I'll touch on that in a second as well. God, look I at the, the night wet. Um, in red, <sighs> in number one slot. And it, it looked good. It's kind of cool seeing my vehicles. Obviously, it's only, it's only going to be six. I asked if they had any plans to obviously increase it. Um, they there didn't. we go. Um, well, they, look didn't, at that. they didn't say that. So they're going to obviously get some community feedback and stuff like that, which is fair. Here's the G-Wagon. So I'm going to use an example um, from my playthrough. Let's find my notes. I, I've dropped my notes. Uh, right, so once you get to level five, you unlock the workshop, which is done pretty quickly. Okay, level honest. five. Um, I added a responsive turbo to my 370. So I went from 328 horsepower to 347 horsepower. And then Not once much for you get a turbo. to level 10, um, you basically unlock more upgrades, which was nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you can unlock more events. So if you have a... Can we go back a little bit? Which was nice. Um, and then you go can back in. unlock more events. Hold on, we'll so, get it. so if you look here, like, obviously you said level five, you unlock a workshop. Level 10, you unlock more stuff. And then it's like level 25, level 35. So, I mean, it makes sense. That's progression, obviously. But the more you level up, the more you can get access to the higher tier parts. Okay. If you have a certain... Uh, spec for vehicles, it'll unlock future events basically. So you have to hit like a certain goal. Okay. Uh, so you got, yeah, you've probably seen it on screen anyway, but intake, fuel, ignition valves, camshafts, pistons, flywheels, exhaust, turbos, speed traps were in the game as well. They're a lot of fun to do. And you see a guttering right there, just like you can in Motorfest. Now, I want to point out, I've seen this part, I've seen another almost three minutes, but the way this G Wagon jumps. And the way the suspension, it, just, it looks so natural. It looks like it's going to be really satisfying. And um, I think Panda pointed out to me right now in Discord, he was like, um, love how they kept the map discovering too when driving new roads, they light up. So you can know where you've been on the map and unlock the full map. Really cool feature. Anyway, watch this thing rip around off-road. It looks so good. A good way of earning extra credits. I actually can't remember if you can earn XP while doing the speed traps. I'll have to double check that, but anyway. Or speed traps. So, the progression is going to def definitely going to be a, a, a talking point um, when the game comes out. Look at this jump. Even early on, I was having to do the races uh, multiple times. And to be honest, the races are fun anyway. And what I liked about the races is once you've come first and you've sort of completed that event, the AI and then basically like levels up. Uh, I got to a point where the AI was experienced, which is obviously like a high level. I think they start out as like an amateur level. And obviously, the AI gets faster, more difficult. So he's talking about the, the the progression here, right? Now the mirror doesn't look great, but at least they have working mirrors, unlike <clears throat> Motorfest. Um, I don't know if this is the 4C, 8C, but this Alfa Romeo is already looking sick. Sounds good. Now he's talking about progression. Okay, he's talking about. It seems like the AI get experience and level up with you. And he was talking about how he's had to do races multiple times, which we already know test drive is a grind. You really get attached to your car. It makes you love the car. You, you can't just like, it's not like in Forza where you just get a million cars at once or Motorfest where you just get in and, and win cars and buy cars. Um, you get attached to your cars. And it's one thing I really like about test drive. I've been looking at all the videos that have come out and everybody's like, it's Need for Speed ripoff. It's a Forza clone. No, Test Drive was before all that. Well, at least before Forza Horizon. Like, come on, man. Test Drive is its own experience. Enjoy it for what it is. Stop trying to compare it to an open world festival game. This is about pure driving experience. All right. But 
I think it's interesting that the progression, it makes you grind races and it makes you have to like work for it. So let's keep listening. As you progress, which I did like, but I did even early on when I was trying to get to level 10, I was doing a race several times. I think maybe. Can we go back and listen to just bang off the rev lever? Wop, pop, 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 pop. But yeah, he's talking about doing races several times, which, hey man, I'm okay with that. Okay, ready? I was doing a race several times. I think God. Like four or five times. And it's quite early on. I've only, I'm, I'm, only, I'm only a couple of hours into the game and I'm having to do the same race over and over again, which is going to take some adjustment. Earning cars, by the way, they even said it's going to take a lot of time to earn that top, top. It better take car, a long time. The dream car, basically. It's going to cost multiple, multiple credits. And you're gonna, it's going to take time. And I kind of like it because I'm so used to having, playing like a full Listen to that Ferrari. Oh my God. This is the F12, like Berlinetta. Cards, cards, or cards, maybe? cards. They got there in the end. I... Uh, slot machines, just gifty cars all the time. And it's just, a, it's just takes some adjustment. You're going to get really attached to these vehicles. Like this Ferrari on screen right now. You're going to work hard to get that vehicle. You're going to get attached to that vehicle. You're going to learn the, the handling the mechanics, how each vehicle works, the vehicle's strengths, its weaknesses. You're going to know that vehicle inside out. And I kind of like... So when I was just talking about the map lighting up, let me show you here, okay? So we're going to go back a little bit. Now notice this side road that he's about to turn on right here is like a dark gray right now and how the road he's on right now has like a, a lighter white. Watch when he turns onto that street. You're going to get attached to that vehicle. You're going to learn the, the handling mechanics, how each vehicle works. Okay, ready? The vehicle strengths. Ready? Weaknesses. You're going to know that vehicle. Inside so it just lit up. And I kind of like that. And I kind of like with... So like, that's like Panda was saying, like when you... Wrong one. Um... It, you'll know if you haven't explored a, a spot on the map, which is cool because if you're looking for the collectibles and stuff, you'd be like, oh, I haven't been to that area. Instead of like a game like Motorfest, like you just, if you haven't been somewhere, you don't know, but that's cool. Actually got good progression in a racing game. It's been so bad lately. They just throw cars at you all the time. And this game's gonna be very different. For some people, it's gonna be a bit too slow. And there is a, there's definitely a middle ground. I feel like, particularly early on, there could have been maybe a couple more races available, so we could earn some XP a little bit quicker. And that's definitely, uh, I hope they add a few more races in. Basically, that's, is what I'm suggesting. Um, but yeah, they're very, very fixated on progression being fairly like slow, and vehicles being quite hard to get. And that's, and that's the test drive experience. Slow progression. Vehicles are hard to get. Ring it on. A lot of people that get thrown cars all the time and like to look, this is about driving the cars. So don't come in here bitching about it because this is how test drive is. If you haven't played it, too bad. Look at this Daytona. That's fine for me. I'm, I'm completely fine with that. Love the speed traps again. They're back. I was hitting Raptor. the speed traps in a pretty base 370 and I was getting two stars already. So again, maybe that needs adjusting as well. Maybe the speed traps are too easy. This looks really good. Off -roading with the, the Ford Raptor. Very nice. Uh, you're earning credits via doing uh, drifts, clean driving, hitting a certain speed. So yeah, there will be ways to earn credits. I'm sure there's going to be videos, maybe like a couple of weeks after the launch of the game, where this is how you earn credits quickly and stuff like that. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, it's fine. Um, just going to be very interesting how people... There's a street HQ. Yeah, so that, God, look the street at this. There to the right. look, look how, how cool that the lighting is in this game. You see the, the warehouse? Like, you can just roll in there and, like, have a car meet with your buddies. Like, look at this, man. Cool. Look how good this looks. Yeah, so the There's lighting. The street HQ there to the right. Look how Holy good the lighting is in this game. Is it as visually pleasing as, like, a Forza Horizon game? Maybe not. Is it as polished as a Forza Horizon game? No. I actually really enjoyed the gameplay. Really enjoyed it. So... That's what I like to hear. Lampposts, for example, in other games, just fly through walls, hit lampposts, barely slow down. You significantly feel the impact when you hit a lamppost. Even a little grassy verge 
between the lanes. You will feel it. You will slow down a little bit and you'll, good, you will good. lose time. And um, I found that quite cool. Here's the Sharps HQ. Oh, shit. Nice. That's so what we're going to be, boy. Sharps. In the game. Um, you can side with the streets or the shops. So they've got quite a, a lot of money. You can, the music you in the back. A taste of uh, the money in this, this game. Is so These cool. Are living a good life. Put it that way. But even for, again, I got chills. Like I got locations. chills. You're earning rap and XP and stuff. So it's. Look at the money, by the way. What the hell? Yeah, that's a lot of like money. Two, two billion. Two billion. Two billion. Someone's been cheating. God damn. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited for this game now. I really enjoyed the gameplay. I kind of, yeah, I kind of like the progression being a little bit slower. How it should be. I'm going to have that dream vehicle that maybe I'm going to have to work for. It's going to feel like real life. Like you're working to, to get that dream vehicle. I worked my ass off to get my GTR. Oh, there's that racer you had to race. I'm going to have to do that in the game. I, I, I find Dude, look at this game. If you want to buy like a Fiat 500, you can, you can possibly buy that fairly quickly. It won't be too expensive. But again, it's those all upper echelon cars, the, the Veyrons, the LaFerraris. That's, I don't I don't know if I actually saw a LaFerrari, but... <laughs> I kind of like the street HQ a little bit. I feel like it might be quite... I've noticed there's a voice chat general. Do they have, like, maybe if you're in a party, that's, like, voice chat built into the game? Or is it, like, if somebody's in the same area? Like, if other people, avatars, are in, the like, the club, you, there's just, like, a general voice chat that everybody can hear you? I don't know what's going on with that, but that'd be pretty sick popular so maybe i will just go for the sharps to be a little bit different um i bet the street's going to be a very very popular potentially but yeah it's kind of cool seeing the tour um there's this is like the sort of buying experience so you're seeing the vehicle you can go in the vehicle like sort of like a fools game really random by the way you can tiptoe <laughs> i was like why would i want to do this i have no idea Damn. Also, this game, you can put the blinkers on, the hazards, you can do the horn, you can open doors, windows. Yep. You can do it all. Yep. All within the game as well. Start the engine. Which, I mean, when you think adding, like, working blinkers, working windows that go up and down, like, that's so much more work to get for all these cars for it to work. Like, it's... Look at this. Look at... Mm, so hype. Nice little uh, start-up sound, which is nice. You can tell they're definitely a little bit of a fanboy of the Alpine. <laughs> it's Flinch! Wee wee! Oui, oui. We love this car. It features a lot in the B-roll. And also it's an intro car as well. So we'd have to buy this car. See, how much is that car? I didn't see it. An Alpine like that is buyable. You got like, two you're minutes to test drive. Too hard for that. Again, the, it's like the upper echelon cars. So going for a test drive, I mean, that is the title of the game. Um, if you guys have any questions, by the way, let me know in the comments. Gameplay, I really liked it. Felt... I'm trying to think what you compare, I can compare it to. This felt rewarding. It felt... When I was doing the tracks multiple, multiple times, I was finding the better lines. The car was responding well. When I was putting the, that the car, the handling started to feel better. There was less understeer. It was just fun. We'd like to see a bit more... See, that's what I like to hear. He, he, he was trying to find something to compare it to. Didn't really. <coughs> Just fun, not really understeering. That's, that's the one thing I think a lot of people are worried about is like the driving physics. But after seeing all this and hearing what he has to say, it, it's not like arcadey. It's not super simulation. It's a good mix. I, boys got the interior right here customization there wasn't many colors okay. there's not many colors for the interior stock stock wheels i didn't see any like exterior upgrades okay you didn't so, see yeah, any exterior hundred thousand credits it will not take you too long so that's not not crazy but yeah the fear 500 i think there, i think there was like a, a lower class race as well which you could unlock so this was like the perfect vehicle for that okay 
as we walk around. Again, why would you randomly want to tiptoe? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I don't know. Why wouldn't you? I mean, you're not going to walk into a car dealership and run around. You're not like, hey, I'm here to buy a car. You know what I mean? You're going to walk. Come on. It's about the experience, man. One of the cars we saw during the gameplay is the 4C. Look at the, the this, this is like chandeliers, really cool I guess. Experience. It feels like you're in like the top of the end dealerships and your vehicle's like sitting there, your dream vehicle. And the game looks really pretty as well. Really pretty. I cannot wait for this game to come out. Oh, by the way, there's a release date now. Um, oh, I forgot some of the main stuff. There's no crossplay, which is kind of disappointing. There's a there it is. No crossplay. So you only, if you're on PS5, you're only playing with PlayStation. You're on Xbox, only Xbox. You're on PC, only PC. There it is. No crossplay. Cool. Um, that they are potentially going to add that in later on. Um, what else was I going to say? Hold the on. launch of the game is on September 12th. You can play. Did I miss anything? There's no crossplay, which is kind of disappointing. There's a horn. Um, that they are potentially going to add that in later on. Okay. Um, what else was I going to say? The launch of the game is on September 12th. You can play as early as the fifth if you get the gold edition. Um, I mentioned the the speed traps. Yeah. No pro, no crossplay. The solo hotel was pretty impressive. Again, having the garage, the garage there as well. Yeah. That was my experience. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, let me know in the comments. I'm more excited to play this game when it comes out. Very excited. See you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching. And bye-bye. There it is. A lot of info there. A lot of info that we didn't know. Um, I'm really happy we got to see more gameplay. <clears throat> now keep in mind, this is work in progress. Gameplay footage at the bottom. So it could possibly be an older build. We don't know. but. I mean, there was a lot of good info there. There was a lot of good just driving that we, we we're getting to see more of the game. I'm really happy with anything. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think of, of how the, the driving physics look, how the cars sound, progression. Um, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Anyway, you know the drill. Subscribe, come back. See you on the next one.